Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated. Today I will show you how to capture every incoming email to your Gmail inbox inside of a Google Sheets document. Let's get started. The first step is to create a Google Sheet document. So here I have already created a document called Email List Incoming. Inside of this spreadsheet, we'll create a couple of columns that will contain the information from the email. So you can see that we are having a date when the email arrives, then we are having a sender name, we are having email, subject, text, which will be the content of the email, and link to the actual email. This is a very cool feature. We'll be able to link back to the exact email that was sent to us. And finally, attachment. I will show you in the part two of this uh, series how to create attachments as well and how to save them. What is important that for the column called date, you can set up the formatting for it to be a date so that when the date arrives, it looks like a proper date. Okay. Now we'll open a tool called uh, Integromat and create a new scenario. Integromat allows you to connect multiple services and their APIs together. So we'll be using this, just register for Integromat. There is a link in the description and create a new scenario. Inside of Integromat, we will go for a first uh, module, which will be Gmail. And here we have a selection of different actions that we can do with Gmail, but we'll be using the first one, which is called Watch Emails. If you have not used this uh, module before, you will have to add a new connection to make sure that your account in Integromat is connected with Gmail. So the next step will be to create a folder that we will be watching. In our case, we will select Inbox. You can also equally watch emails that you have sent or emails in a specific folder. We have ability to select a Gmail specific folders which are similar to, to search, but in our case we will put a simple filter and we will basically say all incoming emails. We can select whether this will be read or under the emails, but in our case we want to watch all incoming emails. You have also an option to mark your message as read when it's retrieved by Integromat. You can say yes, but in our case, we will not be using that. So in our case, it will be marked as not read message. And here, this is the number of emails that will be retrieved at a time. So here it says two, but we can easily increase this to, let's say, 100 or, or 50 or whatever number you would like. This depends on the frequency, how we will set up Integromat, how frequently we will set up Integromat to check with, uh, G with Gmail for new emails, like every two minutes, every five minutes, we click OK. And here we say, where do we want to start? Do we want to start from a specific date? Like for example, a day before, whether we want to go through all the emails, I would not recommend that there will be a lot of emails, or we can also manually select the first email. So we can select here a first email. In our case, we'll start from now on, okay? And now the second module will be to add Google Sheets. We're gonna type Google sheets and in our case what we want to do we want to create an action called add row so that every time there is an incoming emails we will add a new row into our google sheet let's connect those modules together you can see they snap automatically and here we are opening the settings if you have not configured your connection yet you have to add the connection as well Otherwise, you basically can go ahead and select the spreadsheet that you would like. So we'll just select the spreadsheet from the list. And now we need to define which sheet we'll taking and whether it contains header. Yes, in our case. As you will see, the headers will show up here and we will know which field should be linked to which element. So once we click inside of the field, we will see what are the values and type of data that comes from Gmail. And based on that, we can map them to the correct field. So in our case, we're going to use date, and then we're going to use sender name, which will be here, and then the email of the sender, subject, 
text of the email itself, so the actual content of the email, and what is a very cool feature, link to message, which means we will have direct link to this particular message. And then attachment, I will skip that for the, for the second video. So this is just the basic simple process. Click OK. And we press run once and nothing will happen because we have not received any, any new email. So we'll just send an email to ourselves right now. So here I'm typing email to myself. So it's called test. And send. We have received the email here. And now coming back to the scenario, if we click press run once, we will see that the email has been received and that information was successfully sent into Google Sheets. And here we can see the date, we can see the sender time, email, subject, and all the information. And what is very interesting is here we'll receive a link to that actual email if we ever want to read the actual email inside of, inside of Gmail. So that's a very useful feature. Okay, we see that the date has not arrived correctly. It's still using a, a longer non-human readable format. So let's change that. We go back to Integromat. And inside of the date field, we are going to format the date. Integromat is very helpful by giving us the ideas for the formulas. So we have the date and time formula. And here we're going to select the format date. Just going to remove this and put it at the end. And once you hover over the formula, you will have an explanation how to use this if you want to have a specific date format. So what we are going to do, we are basically going to copy one of the formats inside of the inside of the hint bubble. Let me just close this, and this should give us a nicer format for the date. Let's try this again. Let's send another email to ourselves. And we can see that another email was received and the information has arrived here. It looks strange because of the formatting. Once we change it to the correct formatting, it will work fine now. The date arrived correctly. Another important hint is that if you want to limit some of uh, the information coming in, you can set up a filter in here. So you can select the condition and you can, for example, say subject contains case insensitive invoice. This way we'll receive only emails that have subject containing invoice. Let's try it out. And this email has not passed the filter. There was no invoice. Let's try it again. And we can see that this message has passed our filter. Using the filters in Integromat, you can filter out only emails from specific people or on a specific time of the day or any filter that you can imagine creating, creating here. Finally, once this scenario is done, the last element here will be to set up scheduling. So you decide how frequently you want to check for the email. You can set it every 15 minutes if this is important to arrive regularly, or you can set it up, let's say, every day at a specific time. I would recommend, depending on the number of emails, to set it up at regular intervals, maybe four hours, 240 minutes, and go. And this way, the list will get updated with every new email that arrives in your inbox. If you would like to know how to also add attachments to it, check out the link in the description of this video and the suggested links at the end. I hope this scenario was useful for you, and if you like it, please subscribe.